I'm Warren Cotty. I'm a biochemist and I've been with AbbVie for 29 years. I joined the Antiviral Drug Discovery Group in 1992. And I'm Sybil Wagow. I joined the company in 1999 working as organic chemist in the Development Sciences Organization. Different departments, but this is a journey we took together and not just a few individuals. This was the effort of over 700 people here at AbbVie, all of us working together to fight the same virus. It was 1989 when the hepatitis C virus, or HCV, was discovered. Scientists didn't know a lot about it at the time, except that it was contracted through the blood and that it could damage the liver. Initial treatments were ineffective in large portions of the population. A race was on in the industry to bring options to patients. Back then, I was working on another devastating virus, HIV. The medication we created worked by inhibiting the HIV virus from replicating. That meant we could lower the viral load in a person's body. Building on that experience, we thought, why can't we do the same thing with HCV? We also knew that the hepatitis C virus encoded several HCV proteins that were necessary for its survival. What if we could block these proteins? Then the combination might not simply be a treatment, it might become a cure. We knew it would be a long road ahead though. Over the next several years, our scientists came up with a first generation treatment for the hepatitis C virus. They were a significant step forward. But there were some big limitations. Our first generation treatment would help patients with certain types of HCV, but not patients with other types. So as thrilled as we were with our progress, we knew we could do better. We had to use some very innovative technologies and we had to work counterintuitively against the dogma of discovery. For example, instead of keeping our molecules small and refining, we went bigger and bigger. Both of our molecules showed activity against all of the major HCV genotypes and against many of the resistant viruses. And our experiments in the lab gave us even more confidence. Research and science builds on itself. We engaged early on this project and did everything we could to help discovery teams accelerate compounds into development. And that was a huge challenge. We were trying to make a compound where we didn't know what the final structure would look like. And remember, these are complex molecules. A typical molecule might take eight to 10 chemical steps to make. With these, they would take 20 or 25 steps. So we spent a full three months making the first lead candidate. The results were not what we expected. We were sitting around the lunch table one day and feeling sorry for ourselves. Fortunately, due to a very clever insight by one of our scientists, we recognized that we could do additional chemistry. And what that meant is we didn't have to go back to square one after all. It was exhilarating. I remember exactly where I was when we got the first read of the phase three clinical studies. It was a transformational moment. Six years after we saw so much potential in that Petri dish, it's incredible knowing our work has made such a difference in the fight against hepatitis C. I'm truly grateful to Abby for giving me the time and resources, the talented team of scientists and collaborators, the freedom to follow our scientific noses wherever they took us. And no one has benefited from that more than the patients. I think we all knew, even as we we're going through this, that this was really a highlight of our careers. And it's not just about the past. The journey showed us that we have the capability and the drive to keep working every day to discover and develop new treatments for people who need them.